It is an honor for me to welcome this extraordinary group of colleagues and guests to Columbia and to this historic space. And I'm sure many of you are here today because you have faced similar heartache in, in your life. But there is another side to the story of cancer. It's about scientific breakthroughs. It's about how our understanding of this disease has evolved and how brilliant researchers are utilizing that knowledge to save lives every day. I think today more than ever, the story of cancer is actually a story of hope. We realize for this film to be an accurate reflection of what Sid had attempted to do, he said to us, we need an executive summary of this disease. We need to know where we've been. We need to know where we are. We need to know where we're going. I think it's important to understand a disease that has been with us as long as there have been us's in this planet. Um, is so very little has been known about it until the most recent times. I discovered what many of you already know, which is that science is fun. Um, it is a wonderful, exciting human enterprise full of foibles and failures and guesswork and intuition and, and all of those things that we lay people don't usually associate with science. It was a time uh, in the history of cancer when we suddenly realized that there was a way now to go forward. It's my uh, honor and pleasure to introduce our panel today who will share with us their excitement being on the front lines of research about where our field has been, where it is now, and where it is moving rapidly. We cure 80% of all kids that um, come in with cancer. That success, I think, is a strong counter-narrative to those who would argue that we're losing the war against cancer. One size fits all isn't the right approach. You need to tailor the therapy to that uh, alteration. And that really is what's changed a lot about how we think about it. So we're beginning to see an evolution that expands all of oncology, not just melanoma, lung cancer. You're going to see advances in head and neck cancer, bladder cancer, renal cancer, breast cancer, urological malignancies. It's just beginning. And I can't begin to say, sit back. You're going to see an amazing time in oncology. Immunotherapy is here. It's going to transform us as much as we tra have transformed personalized medicine. We're at the point of being able to identify many cancers at a very early stage in colon, in prostate, in breast, and now in lung, and presumably in many other cancers along the way. And so now we have a different problem. The problem is, who, who do we treat and who do we not treat? As we look at the history of cancer, so vividly described in prose and now on film, you can't listen to it, you can't read this, you can't watch it without thinking about the future. It amazes me that thinking about history drives you to think about where we're going. We have needed, uh, for the last four decades, a report card. Um, a report card that says, here is where we are, here is where we're going, and here, here's what happen, happens next. Uh, we have tried in, uh, in this film to generate that report card. Um, and it's not just simply giving a grade, it is telling a story. It is telling a story that uh, combines every human resource, uh, including every aspect of ingenuity, to direct against a disease that affects each and every one of us.